Hello and welcome into the 3D. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this type smoke effect in Unreal Engine 5. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find many tutorials just waiting for you. To achieve this effect, we need to enable a plugin. Go to Edit, select Plugins and search for Nagra. Enable this plugin, confirm by clicking Yes and then restart the engine. Go to the Content folder, right click and create a new folder called VFX. Open the VFX folder, right click again and create a Nitro system. You can also find it inside the FX assets. Select the first option and click next. In the new panel, make sure you are not in the template section. Instead, go to the parent emitters and select grid 3D mask emitter. Click the plus icon and then click finish. Rename the Nitro system as smoke underscore ns and ns means nitro system double click to open the graph where you will find the preview of the smoke on the left panel before we begin hide the background by going to window select preview scene settings and it will open a new panel on the right under environment disable the show environment option now since the environment is hidden you can change the background color by selecting environment color under preview scene settings and choosing a different color. Once done, you can close the preview scene settings as we no longer need it. While we are on the details panel, let's select the emitter summary inside the master emitter and we will start playing with the settings. First of all, let's reduce the resolution to 100 for better performance while we are working with the emitter. Then let's set the temperature to something like 2 and density to 0.5. Now the smoke start falling down and this is what we need. But we need to change the local py to something around minus 0.3 or maybe minus 0.2. Great, now we start getting some results. After that, Set the dissipations to 0.1, which you will notice makes a difference. Then adjust the vorticity to 5 and vorticity velocity to 1 for further improvements. To provide more space for our simulation, set the work size X and Y to 1200 while leaving the Z value as it is. Now we have enough space for the simulation. Navigate to the details panel, scroll down and enable the calculate wind option. This will provide additional settings. Set the wind direction X and Y to 1 and the wind magnitude to 20. For the direction Z, consider setting it to minus 0.5 or feel free to experiment with these settings to achieve your desired outcome. After this, scroll down to find the collide settings. Yes, enable all the options under collide against. While not all of them are necessary, we will keep them enabled for this project. The simulation is looking good so far, but we need to change the position of the emitter. Go to the details panel and change the local pivot point X and Y to around 0.3. Feel free to experiment with these values as needed. Compile and save the scene. Then minimize this panel, drag and drop the smoke effect onto the viewport and place it where you prefer. I want to rotate it to the other direction. That's my fault. If we rotate it like we did, it will not affect the direction of the smoke. So, if you want to change the direction of the smoke, first, set the wind direction Y to minus 1 and also adjust the local pivot point Y to minus 0.3. These settings should alter the wind direction as desired. Compile and save. Minimize the panel. Ensure that the simulation box is colliding with the ground. If it's not, move it downward slightly until it starts colliding. Feel free to adjust its position further as needed. Additionally, 
I will move this object to this location. It is not needed, but I will use it as a platform for jumping. If you press play, you will notice that we are colliding with the smoke and leaving a nice trail behind us. Now, stop the simulation and return to Nitra system. First, uncheck the draw bond to hide the collision box. Finally, increase the resolution to around 300 or higher if needed to achieve better results. Compile, save and close the panel. Press play and please be patient as it might take a bit more time the first time. You will notice the improved smoke resolution, but it may have significantly slowed down your computer. To fix this, return to the Nitro system and reduce the resolution to 200. Compile, minimize the panel again and press play. The smoke quality has slightly reduced, but there is no lag anymore. You can clearly see the player colliding with the smoke creating a great trail effect that you can use for various projects. Finally, create a point light. Position it inside the smoke emitter. Choose a color of your liking. And I will select this color for now. Press play. You will notice that the smoke now has a beautiful blending of colors. That wraps up today's tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.